do you have one or two or three tips that I mm -hmm. things that I could do to just kind of I don't know get better whether whether it's reading through other deck lists or just playing other heroes or um okay sure uh okay so for for that let me think so I think the number one tip I can give you is be engaged with the game. So I don't know if you're a social media guy, but there's some benefit to being on social media. You There's some benefit to being on YouTube, to being on Twitter, Facebook, etc. Being in the Discord, there's the purple Discord. Are you part of the purple Discord? I'm in them all. Okay, there there you go. That just just sometimes I'll be honest. The purple Discord does have some some silliness there, but if you could join, you know, the high level competitive discords, just ask questions there. People are very very willing to give you their thoughts on things, um, or you can just DM me or DM like any of my teammates are are very very friendly. Um, so just being engaged with the game will help a lot. Playing the game will teach you quite a bit but i think this is a mistake that a lot of especially if you're are you committing to warrior in general or, or are you kind of like hopping around i no i warrior like speaks to my soul <laughs> I, I just like it we we, we are brothers then <laughs> uh yeah so if you're focused on one class the you don't actually need to play as much as other people because you yeah. will get into the play patterns it's, I don't know how to how to explain it. It's like kind of like Neo in the Matrix. Like I've seen all the possibilities. I've seen everything before. So it's very unlikely that I get surprised by something, especially after three and a half years of playing Warrior. Um, I, I would yeah. hope by now I, I don't get caught off guard by things. Um, and so that will help a lot. If you're sticking with a class, you can... You can develop a lot of uh, heuristics in your mind that will help a lot. Um, and dual wield warrior actually could carry over to literally every other warrior. <laughs> so playing Dory Hatchets now you know the fundamentals of Saber Hot Street Kasai. You know the fundamentals of Hatchet Olympia. You know the fundamentals of sort of some of the fundamentals of Combo Bolton. So yeah. Uh, there's a lot of cross pollinization when you stick with a class, so that's good. Um, so number one tip is uh, be engaged with the game. Number two tip is if you're playing a class uh, and dedicating to a hero, uh, try to connect with like-minded people, like me. <laughs> uh, th that's one of the best ways to do it. So one and tip one and two are kind of related, right? Um, Tip three I would give you is I would try to watch back your games. Now, I I would actually, one of the things that maybe we could do later this week or next week is maybe you you play 10 games on Talishar, record them, pick, pick the one game you want me to go over okay. or to talk about. I, I think that's very, very important. A lot of people do not, watch their games back, and they don't have somebody else look at their games. This is why every single time I play a game on camera, I watch it back. It's not being, it's not me being a narcissist. It's like, I want to hear what the commentators have to say about yeah. what I did. Um, it's, it's very, I, I feel like I could get a, a lot of knowledge from that. I could also um, hear about different lives or different things that I might not have been thinking about. So, Anytime you could watch your games back, especially with somebody else, or maybe you're gonna be, maybe you'll be on camera. I don't know if uh, yeah, at the ProQuest if they're recording it, maybe they'll put you on camera and then you'll have somebody commentate over it. I would definitely watch that back. So um, oh. that's that's the number one thing, and that basically all this ties into is practicing with purpose. So if you mindlessly spam Talishar games, that will. That helps at the beginning. Uh, I'll be honest; it does help a lot, especially if you're learning a deck or just starting out in the game. The first hundred games of the deck are worth much, much more than the next hundred games. Um, but uh, 
a lot of people don't mindfully practice, which means practicing with a purpose or reflecting on what you what you've done. So, so those are my three tips. Uh, yeah, amazing. Practice with purpose. Uh, you know, try to find like minded people, and uh, what was the other one? Nice. Uh, be engaged with the game. Right. So, so that's that would be my three tips for for you. 